Okay, guys, welcome to SEO Hangouts with Josh Bashinsky, where I play for you many different kinds of SEO videos I have on my big, mean Windows machine. And I also uh, try to learn OBS, <laughs> which, you know, might work well, might not be working well. You might see a lot of different stuff going on, but I'll try to get to that in a second. If you guys have any questions you want to ask me, Please go ahead and ask that in the uh, top right hand side if you're watching live on uh, YouTube. And uh, I will try to answer them. If you could put some asterisks beside the questions, I would appreciate that. So I'm going to do a different kind of hangout today. Uh, I'm going to try and play, I'm going to go into my vault and I'm going to try and play for you guys a bunch of the different SEO videos I have that are on some different topics and try. And uh, this is all content that's part of my mentorship program. Uh, I can, I have to cherry pick it a little bit because there's some secrets that we can't let Google know and we can't get out there in public. If you join the mentorship group, I'd be happy to share it with you. Ryan says no looping this time. Yes, <laughs> I fixed that problem at least, but I haven't fixed all the problems. Uh, but I will try to play some, uh, videos for you guys. Uh, I haven't figured out how to use the camera with OBS yet. <laughs> so that's why I'm not showing up here. Uh, but I will figure that out at some point. So, uh, but I wanted to make the focus of the content today anyway. Not my, you know, as much as my ego would like to see my face there. Well, I mean, if you want to see my face, that can be done. This can be accomplished. So here, I'll just, I'll just do this for you here. If you're, if you're missing my, my face, there you go. That can, that can be done here. Uh, you can see, I don't know how to use OBS quite yet. <laughs> I don't know how to make things big screen or whatnot, but okay. So, uh, so like I said, I'm going to get to, uh, playing the, uh, the, I got a couple of videos for you today that I want to play with some very interesting leaks, some very interesting uh, SEO secrets on them. Uh, one that's just hiding in plain sight and another couple ones that, uh, that, uh, uh, are some kind of experiments and stuff we've been doing. And I'm going to do a little bit more of this kind of a format. Uh, so if you guys have any questions you want to get to now, go ahead and ask them. There seems to be about a 60 second delay between my, uh, my stream from my computer here and your questions. So if you have any questions, go ahead and ask. Uh, I will try to get to them at this time. Uh, but then I have uh, two videos coming for you at least coming up. Uh, depending on how much questions we have, uh, and then we fill out the hour, and maybe I might have a little bit more. So uh, again, if you guys have any questions, by all means, if you think somebody should be in here, go ahead and invite them. I'm going to be uh, sharing some pretty interesting uh, stuff uh, today, so let me know. Uh, okay, so I think you guys have probably heard me talk about questions, and I don't see any there quite yet, so let me let me go right to the video. So let me start playing uh, the ones that I've been thinking about here. And I'll get to this. And um, so the first one I'm going to do is an experiment that we did. It's kind of an interesting experiment. You really should definitely check it out. And uh, I want to know kind of what you guys think about this after I load the video here. And it's about uh, brand traffic. We were testing brand tra traffic. So let me try and load this up here and see if I can get it to go. Okay, welcome to SEO Quick News with Josh Brzezinski. So this is the uh, branding, the brand search experiment we did with my HGH uh, kind of test affiliate site. Um, and again, I just want to remind you, okay, this is exactly what we did. So I posted it in Skype and Twitter and asked people to click on, uh, to do a search, uh, buy HGH today, uh, click it, uh, click the affiliate offer, and then close the tab and not make a purchase. So this is everything that happened. I don't know what out of this is causing any ranking boost or drop, uh, but something out of it is causing a ranking boost or drop. Either it's the searching of the domain name, it's the CTR of clicking it, 
It's the activity on the page, or it's the activity on the page. It's the fact that they got as far enough to click the offer. So I, what is being triggered here, if anything? Again, I want to be pretty clear. My hypothesis is that it's good brand search. Um, we have some neutral traffic that is uh, no bouncing and passing through. We have some single variable experiments to prove that this does not make a drop. But no sing and some single variable experiments to show that this doesn't make a boost either. So I don't think it is the clicking the affiliate offer and closing through. And we didn't see any, uh, uh, well, I'll, I'll show you the results for yourself. It was both good and bad. And then again, it could be the CTR algo. So I think we were tracking the brand search. I think we're tracking the CTR algo. I'm not sure which one it is. We have, I should also put here, we have sent just Facebook traffic direct to pages and seen boosts. So this is everything that happened. So the, on first blush, on day one, after what had happened, happened, <laughs> we noticed that on the day you guys did all the clicks, from the 13th to the 24th, the rankings doubled. They went from 50 to 24. So the rankings were 50. They went to 24. On average, they went up. But I want to find out, well, what exactly went up, if anything? And I took a look, and I actually downloaded the rankings, and here's the clicks on the 14th and the 13th, the impressions on the 14th and the 13th, the CTR on the 14th and 13th. You can see, here's your CTR you guys made. Here's the impressions you guys did. Uh, here's, your, here's your clicks you did, all on the 14th. And then the position. So the position of this one didn't change because it was already ranking number one for BuyHGH today because that's the brand name, because that's the, uh, sorry, the EMD. Uh, but what happened was uh, on the 13th, it wasn't ranking anywhere for HGH Where to Buy, and then they put it at 61. It was 94 for HGH Online, it put it at 88. It was 55 for HGH Cheap, went to 53. That's the end of, as far as downloading the actual stats of what actually got better or worse, that's the end of what got better. So everything else I show you after this, you got to keep in mind, when we actually downloaded what got better and what got worse from Search Console, these results do not confirm what we saw in the line graph here at all in any way, shape, or form. So I don't know what to make of that. I don't know which one to trust. I don't know which one's better. You're going to see a whole lot more evidence to make it look like things got better. But look at the evidence that makes it look like it got worse. Um, it was apparently 91 for by HGH and went to 97. It was 69 for Herbal HGH, went to 75. And apparently it was ranking for HGH Pills, Best HGH Online, uh, by HGH GNF20 Plus Review, and most importantly, this one here, which is what I thought it would go up for, because by HGH Now is the closest synonym to by HGH Today. And it was ranking number seven, and it claimed on the 14th to get de indexed. It was suddenly not ranking for it anymore. So. I don't know what to make of that. Uh, on first blush, it looked like, when you look at this data here, it looked like nothing got better, even though this thing said it got, the average rankings got better by 24, but that could be just for this, like this single one here alone. It made it rank for this one here alone, and that's where the, the getting better is. But it's not like it was all negative. So to keep that in mind, that it could be that there was actually, it's actually inconclusive, there wasn't any, there were some boosts, but there were some non-benefits. Non it's kind of a wash. It didn't really seem to help. If you look at this table, which is the CSV data I downloaded on the four, uh, just for the 14th. Now, there's some positive things that came up that I did notice. Like, for one, I wasn't getting this first off. Even though I had this in Search Console for months, even when I searched for Buy HGH uh, Today, I did not get the your site on Google little thing come up, but it did come up. So without the searches, so notice this, without the searches and the CTR, we never had, we never got this option here. So it might have made us rank more solid for terms, right? Instead of the dots and the dashes you see sometimes, the dots and the dashes you get and stuff like that, instead we started ranking more solidly. And when you get this, so I'm, I'm kind of just making a general rule of thumb slash hypothesis. So if you are ranking for, you're trying to rank for a query, but you don't have this thing popping up yet, that's because you are not solid for it yet. 
right? You're not actually ranking for it. Google is just A-B testing you. And while you're still A-B testing, Google's not going to give you this, your site on Google kind of um, kind of, of display, this dialogue. This uh, search feature really is what it is. So that was very interesting. Um, again, I repeat, the rankings previously were always, you know, dots and dashes, on the SERP, off the SERP, A-B testing, kind of rough looking like this here. And it didn't give me this for the longest time. But then after you guys did all those clicks, then it started giving me this, and then it started to seem to rank much more solidly, even though it was ranking number one for Buy HGH today the whole time, for weeks. But then it seemed to start ranking more solidly for terms, other terms. And then, because this went up, instead of dots and dashes at 50, it went up to solid at 24. You notice how they showed me little dots and dashes there at 50? See that little hint from Google here saying, yeah, we're not so sure about you. We're still A-B testing you. And then uh, traffic has confirmed that you're not terrible. You gave me a quality score, right? I can't buy Facebook traffic for HGH. So you gave me a quality score. So uh, I'll get to my conclusions afterwards. I, I was about to preempt myself there. Hold on. So this does look like it got better. I was dot and dashing. Now at least I'm solid. Even if the rankings didn't get, the factors didn't get better, at least now it's giving me this dialogue. And I seem to be ranking more solidly. Instead of dots and dashes at 50, I'm getting solid at 24. And I'm, I'm getting this kind of thing. So you can say now I'm actually ranking for it, right? I'm out of that. Uh, there's no such thing as a sandbox, as far as I know. It's just a quality score. You just lack a quality score yet. No traffic has gone through, so no quality, quality score has been assigned. If no, if no traffic has gone through your site, they can't assign you a quality score. They can't watch the traffic and give you a score based on it if you haven't had any traffic. So that seemed to happen on the first day. Now, that was yesterday, uh, because, of course, uh, Search Console is a few days late. And we did the test on Monday. So now... Today, I've checked, and now if you look at the search results, this was on the Monday we did the experiment, it definitely looks like everything went up. It looks like the rankings went up from position, you know, 80 to position 24. It looks like the impressions went up, because they did, because you guys looked and clicked. The clicks, of course, spike on that date, because you guys went and clicked. The CTR spikes on that date, because you guys went and clicked. So, and then now it's starting to go down again. So that's definitely on, um, because no one's clicking and, and seeing it anymore. So that's definitely a signal that something out of here that we're doing is, uh, that's definitely a piece of evidence that something we're doing out of here is a ranking signal. What is it out of this list that we did here? I'm not sure. Again, we searched the domain name, which also seems to be a query it tries to rank for. So it could not even, it might not even be the brand name. It could be something else. We clicked it. It could be CTR, right? Then we did, we did some activity on the page and then we closed the tab. It could be any of these things that gave this boost here on that day and then went down. That's why, again, I've, I've hesitated testing brand search because it's so difficult to test. But I guess we could have just done this. I guess I could have told you guys, hey, everybody, do a search for Buy HH Day. Don't click anything. And just see if the brand search alone, alone pops you up. But again, I have an exact match domain. So I don't know if I actually have the entity Buy HGH Today. It's very hard to get the entity for, 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 for an EMD, for actual language words, because the words own the entity for their own entity, if that makes any sense. It's not impossible. You can do it. But you have to have like a crazy Facebook and a crazy Wikipedia set up and all of Jordan's entity tricks set up. And that's your best chance for actually switching the entity for the words by HGH today to, to my website being the entity. So, again, it wouldn't have been a good test. If we're going to redo this test, we should do like uh, joshesfruitemporium.com. And then we should see uh, where it ranks for Josh's Fruit Emporium. And then we should search Josh's Fruit. We should do the entity build construction for Josh's Fruit Emporium, make a GMB for it or whatever. And then, <laughs> don't make it my address here in Victoria. I'll get people showing up. I'll get far. They love farmer's markets up here. I'll get, I'll get tons of people. I, I need my tomatoes. They'll be knocking on my door. So we need a fake GMB for that, please. And then, uh, then just do the search, Josh's Fruit Emporium, and see if this site ranks higher for it. That's how to test brand search in the future. 
And then let's see what else happened here. Okay, so we know buy HGA, HGH today was already really high. It's already been ranking high, and it was fluctuating, but we pegged it. Boom. It was pegged earlier. This didn't help. Okay, fine. Now let's take a look at buy HGH. Buy HGH didn't get any better, even though the uh, impression went up. Uh, didn't get any better. Okay, didn't get better for that uh, uh, family query. HGH Online. HGH Online did get a little bit better. It perked up a little bit. See, so the relative quality score to everybody else on that query and that page. Remember, the quality score is page-based. So the query in the page is all competing, and your page is competing against everybody else's page on that query. And so the previous one didn't go up, but this one did slightly go up. Okay, let's go back. Buy HGH now. Now this is the one that this thing said didn't get better at all. But if I was expecting any query to get better, I was expecting this one to get better. And buy HGH now, whoa, got way better. It went from position 49 to position 7, according to this thing. But it's not solid. They're just still A-B testing it. Whenever it's like a square like this, it's not solid. It's still being A-B tested. Just like it's being A-B tested here. This little constellation. Boom, boom, boom. Little Ryan's belt right here. So this is still being A-B tested. We were still being A-B tested at the start with these dots, the dashes it gave me here, and the solid line it gave me here. This is a great little hint from Google. And uh, These little things in Search Console, <coughs> excuse me, these little things in Search Console you can use. I didn't mean to blow your eardrums out there, guys. I apologize. Don't worry, my flu can't get you over the over the microphone. Uh, these little hints that Google gives you in Search Console are very interesting and good for, for diagnostics. But so this did get better. It's still A-B testing. It's not solid. So it's like rankings are not rankings anymore. It's like, are you ranking two but, but flaky or are you ranking two solid? Right? That's the question. Are you ranking two solid or are you ranking two dancing? Uh, sometimes it'll dance here, it'll dance dance lower, dance here, dance here, but dancing is still dancing. It's not solid ranking, right? You need you need solid ranking two solid, right? That's that's what you want to get. That's what you want. And then it won't look like a little brick like this. It'll be more of a fluid kind of a number. And uh, let's see what else. You'll notice other ones did get see? Boop. This little this this little it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like reading music. Do 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 Dude, <laughs> right? It went up here. Boom. But again, it's still dancing, still dancing around. And that they don't they won't tell you that when they're when they're calculating the, the aggregate here, the uh the uh average position. They will tell you when they're calculating that, that you have to look at the graph to get this little music graph. It's really like a sheet of music. You really have to calculate this to to get that uh appearance of what's actually going on. HGH cheap, what happened here? Oh, it looks positive. Yeah, it looks, you start to go up. And this thing's ranking for HGH cheap pretty solidly. Now, you might want to ask the question, Josh, why is this solidly ranking for HGH cheap? The answer is because the relative quality score of my page versus every other page out there. That's the reason, right? You have to get to a certain threshold of quality score before they start ranking you solid. So I know I sound like a broken record, guys, but at the end of the day, it is all about the quality. It is, it is at least a third of the ranking algorithm, if not half of your ranking algorithm, to have the user clicks, to have the CRO set up. It is based on CRO, as I, we just showed you. We sent traffic to a site, and look what happened. This is what happened. And then the traffic goes away, and it's gone, right? Now, in the past, we tested that, and I called that CTR, and I'm pretty sure it is, because direct traffic going to a site can get uh, results uh, that are like this as well, that go up or down, or that stay up. For a longer time so i think there's a site quality score and there's a page quality score so this is we're manipulating page quality score by doing all this stuff but anyway so my point is is that again you might be wondering okay i don't, I don't understand you're dancing on some queries and some queries you're solid why is that josh because of the relative quality score for this page on the query hgh cheap versus every other page google knows about on the query hgh cheap that's the reason why. So you need to improve your quality score. And uh, maybe something else that I'm going to borrow Erox trick in a second here to show you. Okay, see this one up too? It wasn't even ranking before. And now it is for Herbal HGH. 
right? Look at that, which is the hilarious thing. That's exactly what my, my site sells is Herbal HGH. I don't know why. This should be ranking for this completely. But Google doesn't know that. That's not the point. It's not a human that looks at this and makes a judgment call. It's an AI that looks, here's more weird dots and dashes. Look at these weird dots and dashes inside there. It makes like a, it almost looks like a language almost. It's, it's the Omish Kegawak language or something. It almost looks native in a way with these dots and dashes. That's interesting. Uh, buy HGH as a mistake. Nope, didn't help with that at all, which is interesting because that's in my domain name. And HGH, where to buy? Boom. See you caught better. Do, 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 do. These musical scales went up. So to conclude, did this experiment do anything? Yeah, look, it made this spike right here. And it went down afterwards. So that's a pretty clear signal that this experiment did something. What out of this did something? I'm not really sure. So here's some takeaways I want you guys to remember, Yashar especially, to remind me later when I forget. If we want to test brand search alone, we need to make a website that clearly has an entity that is set up for that entity. And then we need to do just have a whole bunch of people. It has to be on a, a, a test SERP, probably a fake site. And then we have to make a whole bunch of people uh, search just for that brand and not click anything and see if the brand name ranks, uh, the brand, uh, all the queries it's ranking for go higher. That's for the brand search. Because I don't know if we've tested brand search, we've tested CTR, or we've tested on-page factors. I'm not really sure what we've tested. We've tested something. We did something. And here's the next thing. Okay, so like I said, you have to organically improve your quality. You need to definitely improve your quality. You need to do that to get uh, this kind of effect. You need to get your CRO as high as possible. You need conversions. Don't give me any bullshit. Uh, every time I tell people they need to improve their conversions, well, I think it's pretty good. My bench rate is better than my competitor. But, like, stop whining. Stop whining to me. I love you guys. I love you. But stop whining to me. Make your conversions better. Make them as, as absolutely good as possible. I don't know how many times I'll need to show you the evidence of ex experiments proving that it's, it's a major ranking factor. That's how you get from your dots to your dashes. Uh, and don't forget, this is a page-by-page page based thing, right? Some pages are, are solid, ranking solid. Some pages are dancing. This is the way to fix it, is you've got to improve the, the quality on that page based on a query. People go there searching for Herbal HGH. You've got to give them the best Herbal HGH page on the internet. You literally have to give them the best Herbal HGH page on the internet. This is where we are totally white hat, guys, and the white hat way is the only way, and this is the way that works, with a small caveat I'll give you in a second that you need to boost your CRO because any black hattery here is not sustainable. Black hattery in this regard is much harder to do than just make your page good to begin with. Your, your, your client will thank you. Your sales will thank you. Your affiliate company will thank you. Everyone will thank you. You need to boost your sales. You need to convert better than all the other competitors. The user clicks have to say so. Crazy Egg and Hot Jar will tell you. Now, that being said, however, if you seem to be kind of in kind of like a bit of a sandbox and you need to get a little bit of an edge, here's something you can try. What you need to do is you need to replicate this, this uh, scenario we got over here. Uh, what we got here, this is the scenario you need to replicate right here. They need to search, apparently your brand name or any query. They need to search, uh, but this was not the direct queries that made everything else go up, right? You notice we searched this query and other queries went up. So what we need, so this is probably, is, so this could be a brand search thing, right? Because we searched the, 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 the main domain name query and clicked it and closed the affiliate offer and the quality for other pages went up. Google started to try you for other related pages. So I don't know, this, this is not the cleanest brand search test, but it is, it is a brand search test in that sense that we did the brand search, quote unquote, and other queries went up. So this is what you're going to do. You're going to go on to Monster and on to, on to uh, Craigslist and on to all the websites that you can post a job on. And you're going to and on to Upwork and all these places. And you're going to say uh, you're going to do a big, huge, massive job promotion. You're hiring, you know, whatever, 20, 20 uh, web, web quality assurance technicians. And this is the tasks they need to do for the interview. They need to go to Google. They need to search your brand. They need to click you. They need to go to this page on your website. And they need to fill in this form, or they need to uh, 
uh, go to Google. Uh, you can also manipulate the auto suggest in this way, right? They need to go to Google and 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 say, you know, your brand name, uh, awesome or something like that, or changing the searches somehow. Like, let's say, um, let's say, uh, 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 let's say HGH was a product name, uh, and people are typing in buy HGH, uh, and they're getting like these suggestions. But I wanted to insert this one. We would go by, we would type in this one a whole bunch of times. It would start showing up in the auto suggest for this, right? So that's another way to manipulate it like that. But that's, that's a different thing, right? So just not to confuse things. So you would get the people, you get hundreds of people who want to apply for this job to search your brand name and click it and, and, and see some result. If you want to be, be for sure getting it, you would have to replicate this, this uh, thing here. They would search your, your brand name. They would click the result. They would click uh, an affiliate offer and then they would close the tab or they would click an affiliate offer or what looks like an affiliate offer. You know, you can get the best red apples here. They click it. They say, great, fill out this form and we'll send you your five uh, Amazon bucks or whatever it is. Or, and we'll let you know, uh, you know, we'll let you know if we hire you kind of, you know, give us your personal information. That's how you have this running. That's, that's, how, that's how you can kind of uh, arbitrarily boost this, arbitrarily kind of add to this. And conceivably, you could have that running the whole time. Um, is that considered fraud? I have no idea. I'm not a lawyer. I can't tell you whether it's fraud or not because you're actually not hiring anybody. If you want to make it not fraud, randomly pick someone and hire them for 10 bucks or whatever and, and uh, let them do something. And then it's not fraud anymore. Again, I'm not a lawyer. I can't give legal advice. I don't know if that was legally sound, but just throwing ideas out there. Um, and so that's how you would, you would, uh, you would play with this to get this kind of a result. So, uh, good luck guys with that. Um, uh, again, I'm not entirely sure what out of this we were tracking, but we're tracking something. And uh, I think it was a brand search thing because we searched for this and our other queries went up. Uh, and uh, I think that's what happened. I think it just is like a quality, a general kind of quality signal to give us a quality score. Uh, I don't know if it just searching the brand alone would work. We'll have to see about that. But uh, if you want to replicate this uh, factor, we're going to call this brand search for now uh, or brand traffic anyway. Uh, uh, I'll call it brand traffic to, to differentiate that between brand search and uh, try that out and see how well it works. And uh, I'll talk to you in the Skype. Okay. Okay, guys. So let me know what you think about that. Let me know what questions you guys have. Um, uh, what do you want to ask me about this? Uh, we've, we've done more experiments on top of this. So let me know uh, what you think is going on here. Any questions you might have, any questions I might have missed from the chat uh, up above here. And I will try to get to them uh, as much as possible. And I've, then after I answer these questions, I will, I will play another video for you that I have. Uh, and here's me trying to use OBS. I don't know what that line is or, <laughs> or how to get rid of it, but okay. So, um, Neil asks a question and he goes on a little bit further. It says, uh, search term Manchester green grocer, uh, another page ranks for this term, but the URL page is for review of green apples, uh, ranks on page one due to low CTR will eventually drop for that search term. Yes. So. So Google is doing the ranking on a page by page basis. Uh, that's interesting. You, you asked that question. So I'm about to show another video of a very simple way. You can kind of extrapolate the ranking factors from information that Google provides. Again, it's not SEO experiments, but it's still a kind of, uh, still a kind of knowledge, still a kind of, of, uh, of uh, knowledge you should be using. Uh, as you recall, uh, we have all kinds of ways of getting evidence from Google and, uh, we got to use all these different kinds of ways. So if I share for you the, uh, here, let me try and share this. Why is it so hard? Why is it so hard? Okay. Ma. Okay. So remember the five ranks of necessary evidence. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, single variable experiments is the, the, the best kind, the top kind of, uh, uh, of evidence, 
because it's the most trustworthy because we've excluded variables that could mess with what we're seeing. That's why it's the most trustworthy. Uh, and that's why I do it. But still down here at number four, what Google says can still be valuable and useful. So you have to keep that in mind. So I'm going to show you guys something about that in a second. That's going to be the second video I'm going to show, but it's very interesting. It's very good to, uh, to show you. So, um, but you remember, so what I showed you in this, this previous video here, um, that you've got to look at search console and you've got to see what Google is ranking your pages for. Uh, and then you guys see how, how the ones that have gone, especially after a, a ranking drop or boost, you got to see what pages have gone down and what pages have gone up. And those are the ones that everything is working for. Your relevancy is working. Your on page is working uh, sufficiently well enough. Your off page is working sufficiently well enough. And your CRO, your conversion rate optimization. And that's your quality. Palu says, this graph seems familiar. Yes. <laughs> yes, Palu. It is familiar. So, um, yeah. So, uh, uh, let me see what other questions you guys got here. Uh, Matt says, so basically if Google Analytics sees you converting goals in GA, does that the actual goal really matter? No, Matt, it has nothing to do with Google Analytics. Uh, Google literally laughed. A, uh, a Google Web Master Trends Analyst in the Dublin office, his name is Andrei Lepatsev. He's a Russian. He was asked years ago, years ago, he was asked, does Google use Google Analytics to determine the, what the, what the users are doing on page. And he literally laughed out loud and he said, no, we don't need analytics. Uh, we know, and I quote the full desktop user story, end quote. So it has nothing to do with analytics and we've tested it and analytics had nothing to do with the test pages we were testing. It has nothing to do with analytics. Uh, I've tested this single variable. I've tested this in the field, uh, probably a dozen times now in total. Uh, these, these traffic experiments have nothing to do with analytics. Uh, Chrome, they can track it. Any modern browser, they can track other other signals. They're using a whole uh, 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 potpourri, if you will. <laughs> They're using a potpourri of signals, and they don't always need direct access, even just the access access. Even just the access uh, of a page is enough to tell them, or, or bouncing from a page is enough to tell them what happens. So Neil goes on to say, basically a specific page is ranking for a generic term on, on PA or P2, but then due to very low CTR, it will drop. Yes, this could be possible. Uh, and it could still rank for its original focus. Yes, that's entirely possible as well. So, and yes, it does happen for a few search terms. It happens for, for many different search terms. So, okay, well, uh, if you don't have any more questions, then let me play my second video then for you, which kind of actually uh, goes deeper into that and, and better, uh, hopefully better explains that for Neil and for everybody else who might be wondering about that. So let me load that up for you here. And uh, again, it's all about uh, being, knowing where to get this information from. And uh, let's see if I can get to that one now. Okay, just a little SEO quickie for you guys. Don't even know if you've ever noticed this drop down whenever you have a search console on a particular query you're ranking for. But I don't know if you've ever clicked this see ways to improve. It's kind of an interesting little hint from Google that, uh, you know, it's still on the Google level, but it's kind of interesting when they throw us a bone like this. So they say, one, compare this query to your overall site performance. And then, uh, so obviously they're telling us to make some inferences thereby, like how well is this query, are we performing on this query versus the other ones? That's, if you read between the lines there, they're telling you, we're going to rank you well for some queries and some pages, and we're going to rank you poorly for others. And it's a page by page basis. And so they're alluding to their quality algorithms here. They're alluding to their relevancy algorithms, they're alluding to their keyword algorithms. And then they say, find out how to use this information to make changes to your site so you can increase your chances to show up for the queries you care about the most. So do a, compar a comparison to see how well queries you're ranking well for, what you're doing there versus ones you're not ranking well for and what you're doing there. So again, they're like, look at what you're doing here to rank well for this, and then look at what you're doing to rank poorly for the other stuff and try to make what the, the first, try to make the latter look like the former. They also say, find out how you can click here. And this gives you, uh, their general kind of how to appear in search. And I don't know if you've ever looked at this, but what users are searching for when they find your site, 
Um, definitely make sure you're answering that question. Are you appearing for the queries you expect? Uh, you can sort the, you could, they, they tell you how to sort the table. They tell you right here to use keywords, use text. Don't put your important page titles or content, images, video animations, other non-text formats, right? Be complete. Mention everything that you have to offer. Google is smart, but we can't guess what you don't tell us. So they are doing some kind of analysis on the page, it looks like, right? And I, I long to, I've suspected this is the case by looking at experiments and in the field experiments. Sometimes when they, they, when you have like a best red apples or top 10 red apples kind of query, they want to show a table or they want to show like a list of like affiliate kind of affiliate advertorial. Uh, and then be topical. They're telling you, uh, you know, if you want an ice cream score that sells hot chocolate, be sure to feature your ice cream in the summer and your hot chocolate or coffee in the winter. Uh, and so obviously, I don't know if this means they've got some kind of uh, uh, time-based algorithm. They really do seem to. But if people are looking for uh, red apples, then you want to be talking about red apples. If people are not talking about red apples, then you don't want to be talking about red apples. This also, again, insinuates that they might have a freshness kind of algorithm here. That, you know, uh, if they're looking for red apples and you're providing red apples, great at the same time. And that the searches, even including the brand searches, could affect the rankings. Uh, or the, or the, the topic searches could affect the rankings as well. And then are you getting visitors to these queries? Uh, you know, again, an insinuation, we're using traffic as a ranking signal. Uh, a CTR uh, is important, and you can, boosting it is important to get more traffic to your site anyway. Uh, uh, they just they tell you right here, get mentioned, get noticed by the sites. Have, you, have your site mentioned in appropriate places online. See if you can get mentioned on your local news sites or any other appropriate resources. On your local news site, okay, they give you an actual type of site you should be getting links from right there. Uh, and any appropriate resources like topical blogs. Be descriptive. Use accurate descriptive titles for your pages. We recommend focusing on one topic per page. Again, they're telling us right here that title tags are important for the page. Keep your site up to date. If your restaurant website hasn't updated its menu since 1925, then update it. There aren't a lot of customers searching for sarsaparilla these days. Again, another mention of the freshness. So again, I don't know if you've ever noticed these little hints that Google are throwing us here, but I think it's pretty important. And it's important to use that kind of diagnostic method to see like, okay, why am I doing well for this, but not well for other stuff? And uh, to check that out and to see why that is the case. So uh, again, just uh, some interesting little hints from Google, and hopefully you guys can consider it and see how you can improve your game. Okay, guys, so uh, I hope that made sense. What guys, what questions you guys have about that one? Uh, whatever questions you guys, go ahead and uh, shoot. Um, uh, Yokushin SEO. Oh, wait a minute. T Kurt asked a question before that. So Kurt asks, uh, do you have any tests that show an impact on GMB rankings by doing CTR or brand searches? Um... Uh, impact on GMB rankings by doing CTR brand searches. Uh, yes, yes, very much. So, so that definitely um, is uh, something we've been playing around with. Um, it's not. We've done a lot more experiments though afterwards. So it's not. I, I don't. You know what? I don't even think it's. Well, CTR doesn't boost anyway. Let me put it that way. We've we've actually learned what the factors are there. Uh, and so it's, it's CTR, everyone's like CTR, CTR, um, only in certain cases is CTR important. Uh, we've been able to scientifically isolate when that is and when that's not. So, um, it's more about the activity they take on your site. So you really got to, uh, be careful about what your users are doing there. Uh, Yokushin, uh, uh, says, sorry, Josh, for wrong question. Still beginner scientist SEO. That's not a problem. At least you're at least you're a scientist SEO. At least you're beginning 
to be a scientist SEO, that's what you want. Uh, 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 so the question is, if the content from Web Archive is considered as duplicate content. Um, uh, well, I, as I already answered above, uh, uh, maybe if it's if it's not on the SERP, if it's not on the the index currently, then it's not duplicate content. But that doesn't even matter. That is that is the completely the wrong question to be to be asking. Part of being a scientist SEO is is listening to what the other scientists say <laughs> and looking at the body of evidence that's already been done. You're not a very good scientist if you decide to ignore, uh, you know, the general theory of relativity that's been proven with over 200 experiments or verified uh, to some degree, to a high degree with, well, you know, whatever, hundreds of experiments and decide to try and and do it yourself. So so uh, I get it. You know, if you don't have the money to join my mentorship group, it's only 300 bucks a month. Uh, I would strongly recommend it. Of course, I, I'm, I'm going to be opening up the vault and giving you select pieces from the old evidence. But uh, we have we have new evidence in, in all these areas that allowed us to scientifically isolate what the ranking factors are and to uh, to use them. If you want some proof, go to bit.ly slash SEO proof and you'll see the results of our experiments in the field that people have been able to attain from being able to scientifically isolate the ranking factors, uh, whether they're promoters or demoters and how they operate and when they operate and when they don't. And this is scientific knowledge, guys. So there's no better kind of knowledge, especially for this kind of thing. And so if you want to be a real SEO scientist, you really got to kind of go and do that. <laughs> you got to go check out the experiments. Uh, you got to go and uh, uh, join at least for a little while with the real scientists who, who got the most advanced knowledge here. And that would be my group. Uh, uh, you can see it at secretseo.guru. You can be the secret SEO guru. Everybody knows I'm an SEO guru. You could be a secret SEO guru too. And uh, you could see the experiments. So uh, so again, you're asking the wrong question there. Uh, I... I, I uh, I I I uh, I respect your diligence and your and your persistence, <laughs> but you're asking the wrong question. Who cares if your tier two or three backlinks are duplicate content or not? Uh, even if you're doing that kind of linking, it still doesn't matter. But that's not the right. That's not the best linking to be doing. Uh, you're throwing your money away. You're wasting your time, again because you haven't deeply invested enough in science. Kurt Shell says so. CTR for YouTube, but not for organic. Yeah. Well, YouTube is a totally different thing. So uh, the rumor is in YouTube that it, it helps boost. Um, I think it probably does, but I don't test YouTube. Um, so I don't really know for sure, to tell you the truth. So again, I'm going on the single variable experiments of what I can see our actual ranking factors and what's going on there. So guys, go ahead. Uh, we got uh, uh, we got 20 minutes left here. Uh, go ahead and uh, or so. Go ahead and ask your SEO questions on the top right-hand side. And if, uh, if uh, I don't have any questions, maybe I can play you another video if I have time. Uh, so go ahead, ask your questions on the top right-hand side. I will try to answer them for you and uh, see what else in the vault maybe I can and pull out and get for you guys. Uh, Nick asks, some main category pages not ranking well, page four, for main keyword, but very well for other keywords, like those at the bottom of Google search related keywords. What would be your typical suggestion? Uh, Nick, it's hard to say what the typical suggestion would be. I need to take a deeper look, but basically what you're saying here is, uh, your category pages, category of what exactly I'd like to know are not ranking well, uh, for your main keyword again, which is what, but very well for other keywords that are like in the related keywords. Um, again, without any more information, which I'd like a little bit more information to give you a better answer, but it seems to me that uh, you have uh, a keyword cannibalization problem on that page. Um, you uh, have a relevancy problem on that page. Either you don't talk about it enough in terms of keywords and or your, co your conversion rate optimization, uh, Google tracking happy users to your site uh, is just insufficient. Uh, and I know scientifically how much this will help and how much it can boost your rankings to take a more scientific approach and to to be able to ha know what the va the variables are isolated and manipulate each one a as you see fit. But that definitely is the, the kind of results you'd see if if um, if those things I specifically mentioned, namely the keywords, are not in place. You've got too many uh, 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 too too high of family keywords there, and. Um, uh, it sounds like your CRO is not working there properly either. Uh, so let me let me show you another 
picture here that might help help with that. Uh, this is how Google sees your site. And uh, basically, the more you, it's like a word cloud, and the more uh, those pages that are on uh, pointing to your site, uh, that are pointing to your page, and on your page, the more those words that are pointing to your page and on your page and, and related to your page due to links, uh, the less you're going to rank and the worse you're going to rank. Uh, and this is what our, this is what some of our scientific uh, testing has, has been able to show and improve. So you definitely want to not have a bunch of different kind of uh, uh, keywords on there. You want to be ranking specifically for, you know, if you want to rank for cricket, movies, and music, then the page talks about crickets, movie, movies, and music. And all the pages that link to it talk about crickets, movies, and music. Uh, and that's it. That's everything that's talked about. You don't add in users and applications and other stuff you don't want to rank for. Yeah, and so he says it doesn't rank for red apples, but it ranks for tiny red apples or tart red apples. Well, then why does it say, and if you don't want to, if that's not the way you want it, then why are you saying tiny uh, types and why are you saying tart on the page or on pages that link to it? There is a, uh, a calculation that Google does per page that, I, that I've been trying to, like in both videos actually, we're kind of showing how that works. There is a, um, a calculation Google does per page and it, uh, that it analyzes what that page is about based on what you put on it. And then it'll send traffic to that in the hopes that they'll be happy. And if they are, then you get to rank for it. If they're not, then you don't. So it's a, stu it's a two stage process. So you need to take a better look at what's going on there and you need to uh, follow what I have on this graphic here, uh, which is uh, you need to check the Google SERP to see what it's going to tell you what needs to be on a page and what's not. So all the stuff that's in black needs to be on the same page. All the stuff that in, that's in blue needs to be on another page. And so buy Bitcoin and buy BTC, those are all synonyms. Buy Bitcoins, those are all synonyms. They need to go on the same page. But uh, type uh, tiny types of apples and tart red apples, to mix my metaphors, doesn't go on that page. And so you don't want it on that page. So um, that should be on a different page. Uh, it's, it's, it's exactly the stuff that comes down in the auto-suggest and the stuff that you see in the related searches that goes on different pages. So there's either you're failing in either one or two places. One, you haven't got the correct keywords on the page, or two, um, uh, you, you're failing either one or both places. One, you don't have the, and this is how you fix it, have the proper keywords on the page and linking to the page. And Google, that should minimize the amount tank brain, that's what I like to call it, we made a joke about that above, that'll minimize the amount that tank brain decides to uh, uh, try you out for queries. But even if they do get a little mistaken or someone has linked to you with tiny tart, uh, uh, tiny types and tart uh, keywords, for, to use your Red Apples example, and Google try, decides to try you for it, uh, then the traffic's not going to be very happy about it, right? Because they are, they are promised uh, a list of tiny types of apples and they didn't get it. Or they are promised tart red apples and they didn't see it. It wasn't obvious enough, above the fold, fast, sexy, cool design written in the way they could see it even if it was on the page, which in this case, it's, it, it shouldn't be. And then, so you're not going to have the loop. They're going to close the loop for that. And in that case, that's, that's, that's tank brain working correctly. Why should tank brain rank you for tiny types of apples when you don't say that on the page and you don't list any tiny types of apples? So you're confusing tank brain in that case. You've got to check the, the text on your page and the, and the text linking to it. And guys, I just want to remind you, if you have any more questions, go ahead, ask them on the right-hand side. I'll be here uh, for another 10 minutes if there's questions. If nobody asks any questions, well, then I'll, I'll quit and read some more OBS tutorials because clearly I need I need to learn how to use it better. So if you have questions, go ahead, ask them on the right-hand side. If you have anybody you know who needs SEO questions, get them in here and ask your questions on the right-hand side, and I'll try to answer them for you as best I can. But I want to say everything I'm telling you guys, in case you don't know, is coming from a scientific position. I have scientifically tested everything I'm saying. So I'm not guessing. I'm not, I'm not going from the hip. Uh, and if I'm guessing, I'll tell you I'm guessing. I'll say it's my hypothesis. But I'm, I'm pretty much not doing that. I, I'm not going from the hip. I'm not, you know, uh, I'm not I'm making it up like all the other SEO experts out there or kind of making a rule of thumb. I'm talking to you from a position of science. Uh, and so I can, I can speak to this with, with, with some authority. 
If you want to learn the science I'm talking about, you got to join my mentorship group at secretseo.guru. It's only 300 bucks a month. We have a couple spots left. Uh, and I'm on all these videos I've been showing you are just the little quickies I've made for these guys. There's, I have hundreds of these. I have a whole bunch of videos from my vaults and they get, of course, way more stuff, including the weekly test results of what's been going on. Let me tell you, we've found some incredible ranking power in the stuff that we've tested. Just check bit.ly SEO proof in case you're wondering. All right. Bubble Soccer Minnesota. I wonder what Bubble Soccer is. Bubble Soccer Minnesota says, I want to rank for inflatable rentals. Okay, I, I guess I, I know what bubble soccer is now. <laughs> but my main homepage is brand name inflatable rentals. And if uh, myself, if I, if I F myself, oh, okay, if I F myself for the keyword or make a page for brand name inflatable rentals, uh, uh, <laughs> he says, I vomit words. Uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, yes, bubble soccer. So, um. Uh, yeah, you got to be careful. So when you're doing this kind of page planning, it's best if you, if you plan it correctly from the beginning. So if you're planning from the beginning, you've got to, uh, uh, uh plan it correctly and you've got to, um, uh, you've got to check to see uh, stuff in black, which should be on the same page and stuff in blue should be on different pages and then you ought to plan that out. And you should have done keyword research to begin with to know what was your important keywords to begin with. I'm still using uh, Google AdWords Keyword Planner. They just opened it up recently, at least for me, and it's giving me hundreds of keywords, uh, the, the best top level knowledge, uh, you know, if you know how to finagle the system and get Google to give it to you. Um, uh, so you got to do that. So I presume you've done that first and, and that's how you would plan it out. And then that's how you would know that, uh, you know, on my get Bitcoin site uh, slash buy Bitcoin that also buy BTC, purchase Bitcoin, buy Bitcoins, that all goes on the same page because I checked Google. And I could cross these off my list from the keyword research that I obviously did. I take pieces off my list and I put them under a heading of this is what goes on this page. And then all these other pages are different headings. And then I, I take keywords when I, when I search each one of these. When I search buy Bitcoins with credit card, then I'm going to see in here what the synonyms of that are. And that's all going to go on the same, the same page when I'm making a new page. But you're talking about a different scenario. You're talking about a scenario where you've already made your pages. Well, if you've already made your pages and given them to RankBrain, now you've got to, it's easier to go with Google than to force Google to do something. I repeat, Google is kind of like a, a life partner. <laughs> Google is kind of like your spouse. It's easier to go with your spouse than to change their mind on something, usually. So it's easier to go with Google than to change their mind. So if they've decided your index page should rank for your brand name, inflatable rentals, great, then do that. Uh, don't go trying to make, uh, you know, you know uh, unless you're not ranking on page one, you don't care about your rankings or you really don't care, you want to change it. It depends what your EMD is. It depends what your domain name is. Like if your domain name is Red Apples, then that's the page that's going to rank for Red Apples because it, it has a much stronger signal for red apples, and that's just the way it's gonna be. Don't move it off the index page onto another page. I've done that, it doesn't work. <laughs> I've tested this, so learn from, learn from for me what was not the greatest experiment. Uh, you don't want to, uh, 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 you know, if the index page is ranking for something, then that's what Google's gonna choose, and that's usually the, the way it's gonna be. Uh, the page name is not as strong a ranking factor as the domain name. So, uh, I don't know if that helps you because everyone's being vague, but if you want to give me some more details, I can, uh, I can also give you some, maybe some better, uh, some better advice. Mm. Neil asks, how can you benefit with pages ranking with impressions, but not getting good CTR change titles or descriptions? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I, I, I talked about that, uh, very recently. I think it was yesterday at the video I shared. Uh, yes, uh, titles and descriptions still matter. Uh, you need, if people are searching for your keywords and not clicking you, I guarantee to you that I've scientifically tested that it is a bad ranking factor. You don't want to do that. Uh, apologies to Ryan, whose, whose site we might have taken. So, so you don't want to do that. Uh, you definitely need to change your your uh, your titles and meta descriptions, because even if it wasn't a ranking factor, which which it is, I tested it um, for demotions. It's a demoting factor. 
uh, even if it wasn't a, a ranking factor, you still want to get as many people from the SERP to your site as possible. It's about traffic at the end of the day. So yes, you need to change your, your titles and descriptions. Go back and look at yesterday's video where I was playing with OBS a little bit more <laughs> and I played a video for those guys and check that out. You definitely need to see, uh, you definitely need to uh, watch that video and see how to change your titles and descriptions. Roger Webb. Good thing he's not Roger Stone. That guy's in some trouble right now. Roger Webb asks, unless he's faking it. Roger, are you actually Roger Stone? Why do you wear those top hats? Never mind, sorry. Uh, Roger asks, hey, Josh, can you give me some tips on how to improve my rankings for gtop100.com, Top Sites World of Warcraft? I am trying to rank for WoW private servers. Any tips for keyword density, meta description? Um, uh, uh, Roger, if your name is truly Roger. Uh uh, yes, I have a ton of, uh, of, of, I have, I have hours of courses for you to watch on that. So join the mentorship program and I, and I will give you the courses and I'll say, go, cr go crazy, go nuts. <laughs> and I have hours and hours of courses for that based on tons of science of what we've been doing there. And the results are pretty stunning. Go to bit.ly slash SEO proof. Uh, so I would definitely go check that out. Go to secret SEO.guru to join. Um, Yukushin comes back and says, almost all of the Gessios, all of almost the almost all of the Gessio advice, adding the Google searches related to the keyword main page. Uh yeah, yeah, well, they're the Gessios. So that's that's not the way I like to do it. That's 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 as far as I can tell from my scientific testing. I know there's other SEO scientists who like to do it this way. I just don't like to do it that way. Uh, you're messing with your keyword families. I do not agree with that, that, that philosophy, that methodology. I've run the same tests. I get better results when I double down on a main topic and do not have the related searches. Um, uh, and, and some of those guys like to do silos as well. And again, um, uh, uh, previously I found that that was not a good ranking factor. Now Google's making some changes. And so, did Josh just say silos might come back? No, he didn't. Yes, he did. No, he didn't. So, um, Yes. <laughs> there you go. So, okay, guys, come on, ask me some more questions. I'm leaving here in two minutes. Uh, go ahead and ask any questions that you want to ask. Uh, uh, Yuri asks, ask yourself why you want to rank for inflatable rentals. The intent is not bubble soccer. Don't waste your time in ranking for that. You might get visitors, but no leads or sales. Again, uh, maybe I have no idea what, what bubble soccer is. And then these guys start talking about stuff. Adrian says, Yesterday's videos Josh was talking about, I don't know, was it yesterday? Uh, I don't want to click that and start playing stuff while I'm on OBS because only God only knows what will happen <laughs> if I start playing with stuff. Okay, guys, if you have any more SEO questions, go ahead and ask them in the top right-hand side. I will change the uh, graphic here for you in case you're getting tired of looking at that. I will make something uh, prettier for you to look at. Like, uh, I don't know, this, how about this? You have been listening to the best SEO show on earth. Uh, this has been SEO Hangouts with Josh Mashinsky. I would like to thank you all for coming on and asking questions. Uh, Bubble Soccer asks, the page is Bounce House Rentals. Would you avoid Silo Tier 3 pages, Princess Bounce House, Dinosaur Bounce House? Um, that is a very tough question. I have a whole uh, list of of uh, experiments I'm doing currently that I need to see how they pan out before I can answer that. That is the that is that is the state of the art right now in how Google is changing things. And guys, Google's changing things every two weeks. Every two weeks, the ranking. Uh, I, I hope you guys realize this because they're treating their machine learning AI set and the quality raters and their clicks are feeding in new data on a, on an hourly basis. Google is changing the ranking factors like every two weeks, I hope you know, in substantial ways. So if you're not with a science-based group who's tracking this and knows what's going on, good luck. I mean, you're never, ever going to rank uh, uh, because the, 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 rank, the, the factors, uh, even the Google engineers don't know what they are. And they're changing like every two, two weeks to, to six weeks, guys. So I really strongly, you don't like me, fine. Join, join a different science group. I wouldn't recommend it. I, I really do think mine is the best. I am the most careful 
uh, of what I infer from the experiments. And I, I, I have a bit of an art. I have a bit of a talent in doing the experiments and the way I do them to get to get a, a knowledge. I was doing a PhD in a science related uh, 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 discipline. So maybe that's the reason why I'm pretty good at it and not to toot my own horn. But quite frankly, I was studying this at the PhD level at York University in Toronto, Canada, a very good university. I did my master's degree at Dalhousie. So I have, uh, which is another good university in Canada. So I have some, that's in Halifax. I love Halifax and all their beer, their beautiful, beautiful beer that I drank a lot of when I was there. So um, anyway, <laughs> uh, uh, you got to join the scientific group. You got to get knowledge. Uh, otherwise, because they are changing the ranking factors on a regular basis. It's nuts. It's insane what they're doing once you start actually doing scientific testing. So I invite you all to join. I have a few seats left uh, at secretseo.guru if you guys want to join. Uh, we have uh, Quora discounts. We have Quora freebies. Uh, we have Facebook uh, mastery knowledge. We have Facebook uh, courses as well. We have uh, secret logins to SEO tools, I can't admit. Did Josh just say that? Yes, he did. Uh, I'll save you money. If you join my group, I will save you money. So anyway, enough of that. So um, uh, I was actually answering our question here. Bob Roll Soccer says, Paige is bounce house rentals. Would you avoid? Oh, yes. So sorry. So this, this silo question, I'm doing some experiments right now where silos might be back in the mix. Silos might be back. And even if they're not silos, they don't have to be linked under the, the, the main page. They could be linked from the index page. But you know, if, if you want to rank for, at the end of the day, if you want to rank for Princess Bounce House, and dinosaur bounce house, as long as you don't violate that black or blue rule I showed you for, for Google SERPs, then yeah, then put them on there. And I don't care how you link to them. It doesn't really matter at that point. There is, uh, there's no magic in the silo. I'll, I'll say that. There is no magic in the silo. Uh, my scientific tests prove that. There could be some juice in internal links if you do them a certain way. But you got to be careful. you got to be very, very careful. You can hurt yourself. Um, Oves asks, do I take SEO projects? Uh, yes, I take SEO projects. Um, but, uh, I charge a fair amount and I'm not like, uh, other SEO agencies. that's going to kind of handhold you and, and, uh, email you reports every week. If you want it done right, uh, I can do it, but, uh, um, uh, I'm quite busy, so I don't take a lot of clients on. So, uh, go ahead and email me for rates. If you're, if you're curious, um, Bubble asks, what's my audit cost? My audits are $1,400 USD. Uh, so if you want an audit, I can definitely do that. Uh, if you join, you get a free audit after six months. Uh, Dijon says, I don't want to join the other group. That's good, Dijon. <laughs> don't. Join mine. All right, I believe you already have. Um, uh, Google needs to be violated. Okay. Well, on that note, <laughs> I have no idea what that means, but I'm going to quit. So thanks folks very much. Uh, I hope you had fun watching. And for those about to rank, we salute you. And as I always say, good luck in the SERPs and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.